Okay, we're going to continue the 1033 final exam review. I want to look at questions 19, 20, and 21. All right, let's go to the piece of paper with me. All right, first question, question number 19. Find an equation of a horizontal line that passes through the ordered pair A2. Now remember, horizontal is this way. It means it's level, okay? It's like how you want your, you know, how you want your cruise ship to be. Absolutely flat line, all right? One of the things I want you to remember, if you're holding, if you're holding your pen horizontally, if I move my pen up and down horizontally on a piece of graph paper, the value that's changing is the y value. It's changing like crazy because you're going up and down. All right? When I teach my students to find range of a, of a function, I tell them to scan from bottom to top, which means they would have to use a horizontal scan. What that should remind you about is when you move a horizontal line up and down graph paper, you're moving along the y-axis. That tells you to focus in on the y value. So the equation of a horizontal line is going to have the letter y in it. We totally ignore the x, and we just focus on the y. So my answer is y equals 2. Easiest way to remember it, horizontal, horizontal line like this, when you move up and down on graph paper horizontally, your y value, how high up and down you are on that graph paper is changing. Horizontal lines always have the equation y equals a constant. Now, question number 20 asks you for vertical. Well, if I hold my pen vertical, yeah, my pen vertically, if I move this thing from left to right, which is sort of a vertical scan, on graph paper, the x-axis is changing like crazy. That's what's happening. I'm moving back and forth along the x-axis. So for a vertical line, it's always the x value that you focus on. So in this particular problem, the equation of your vertical line would be x equals negative 3. All right? And remember, when you were taught to find domain, you were taught to scan from left to right. Left to right. Well, that's a vertical scan. And remember what domain is. Domain is x. When you were taught to find range, you were taught to scan from bottom to top, which is a horizontal scan, and range is y. Vertical x equals, horizontal y equals. All right, and my last question on this video. If I drew a parabola opening to the right, this is question 21, a parabola opening to the right would look like this. The question is, is this parabola, or does this graph represent a function? And the way you determine whether or not a graph represents a function is by applying a vertical line. It's called the vertical line test. I take a vertical line. I run it through my graph. Now, this graph fails the vertical line test. And the reason it fails to pass the vertical line test, in other words, to be a function, that vertical line is only allowed to touch your graph one time. Because your, this vertical line touches your graph more than once, what it really means is the x value on this vertical line is assigning itself to more than one y value. That's a problem. So no, this is not a function. And basically remember the way the vertical line test works. Take your picture and start imagining vertical lines running through it. 
If any vertical line touches your graph more than one time, the graph that you're looking at is not a function.